What's going on, Rovers? It's Mr. Shalott back with another video. Today, we're going to continue with the Automoblox project, all right? And we are going to be looking at the front bumper, okay? So I'm going to teach you today how to do the front bumper in today's lesson. Let me share out the screen. We'll take a look at it. All right, make this a little bigger. Put that down there. All right, so looking at what we have here, all right? So obviously we still have, we have six parts that you're modeling. Today we're gonna focus on the front bumper. The front bumper, the dimensions that you're going to use. I have this drawing that I created here on the first page for you. And then you're also going to have to scroll down and look at these dimensions. So we're gonna take a look at all these different numbers and walk you through the process on how to create this front bumper here, okay? And it's got some headlights on it, all right? How do we create something like that? All right, so we'll zoom in a little bit. These numbers are a little bit larger, all right? When you're creating the project, you're going to first start off by creating this particular sketch, all right? These are the numbers that you need, all right? You'll notice on the outside, even though it's not dotted, that should be a construction box. Okay, so we're gonna make a construction box out of that. It's going to be 1.6 wide by 1.530 on the height. So we're gonna start with a box, all right? 1.6 and 1.530. So here we are, we got a new document and we're gonna go ahead, start a sketch on the front here, draw our box, okay? Throw some dimensions on it. One point six, and the height there is one point five three zero. All right. So at that point, all right, we don't really need our front view anymore, but we'll leave it on for a minute, and I'll show you why. Okay, so on our sketch, we're gonna now add some things. What we already have on here, that needs to be construction, okay? So if I just press and drag over the whole thing, right click on one of the lines and choose construction. We have that dotted construction box going around the outside, okay? All right, so switching back over to our drawing, I have some more construction lines that we're going to need here, okay? From the base up, there's this construction line, and it's a distance of 1.125, okay? So 1.125, and then the length of that construction line is 1.5, okay? So we need to get those two on there. I'm gonna come in with my line tool, draw a line over in this direction, okay? We'll throw some dimensions on that. 1.5, okay? Again, if you, if you right click on it, okay, when you don't have any other tools selected, you can right click on it, turn it to construction, okay? And then to the bottom, okay, that distance there is 1.125, all right? So now that is in the right spot. We've got to draw all of these construction lines first so we can start drawing our arcs, all right? So in order to do this, I'm gonna come up top and I'm gonna grab my arc tool and I'm gonna grab and press and drag from one corner to the other. Now you'll notice the arc is going in the wrong direction. That's okay because after I click on the point, now I can pull it in the other direction, all right? And you're gonna draw that first arc. That first radius there, when we look at the drawing here, has a radius of five. It's a huge radius. So we're gonna use that number of five, okay? So right in that space there, I need to go ahead and type five and hit enter, and that's going to adjust. So there is our arc of five, all right? Then this arc comes down to somewhere in here, and then from here to here is another arc. So there's three arcs in total. All right, what do we gotta do? Well. We know the size of this arc right here, okay? 
but we don't know where it ends, okay? We know it ends somewhere over here, and that's based off of this arc right here, okay? Well, they don't give us that information. If we scroll down and we take a look at the front bumper, all right, they tell us that the radius, okay, down here at the bottom, so if we're looking at this sketch, the way this thing is rounded over, okay, it has this nice fillet on it, and that fillet that goes all the way down is 0.3, okay? So it's 0 0.3, 0 0.3 is on here a couple times. So 0 0.3 is the number that we need to use. So I have to draw an arc over here that's 0 0.3. I gotta get to that spot of where it's going to be at. So how do we do that? Well, I like to come over and I like to just drop the point on there and then we dimension over and as we just discussed, this is going to be a distance of 0.3. And then to the base, we're also going to use that 0.3. Okay, 0.3. Now, now that this is in the right spot, we actually can come in and sketch our arc. So if we come up to the top and we choose our arc tool, all right, and we select the first point. That's not what we want. Ooh. Long arc tool, all right. So we'll go arc center point, pull that out, and then this will spin over to this side, okay? So just to go over that again, okay, we come up to the top. There's different types of arcs that we can draw. Up top, we drew the three-point arc. Um, this one's going to be off of a center point, so we want to choose center point arc. All right, with center point arc selected, you select your center point, you come directly over until you hit that line, okay? And then you're gonna just swing that line down until you hit the box, okay? There we go. Now, we can switch back over with our three point arc. We go from the top down to that point, we pull this out, okay? The number that we need, remember, is 2.375, okay? And I'll hit that, hit enter on that, where I got that number, is right here okay so now this arc was 2.375 this one was 0.3 okay now we just got to connect the dots so we haven't drawn the line yet that goes from here to there and then the vertical line as well so let's switch back over we select our line tool i'm just going to draw and play connect the dots okay connect that one connect up to the top and we're good to go, okay? We can go ahead and finish the sketch by clicking on the green arrow, rotate this thing around, and there is our sketch. It is now ready to be extruded, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose extrude. I'm gonna select the shape. It will start extruding it. Notice it's going in one direction, okay? It's all going in one direction. What we're gonna do though, all right, is right here, where it, it chooses the direction, we want to choose symmetric. And what that'll do, it puts the line in the middle, all right? And it's extruding each way the same distance. Now, right now, the default is set to one inch. So it's going a half inch in each direction. That's not the length of the shape. If we go back over to our drawings and we scroll down, okay, what is the overall width of this shape? I'll give you a second to stare at the screen here. Which of these numbers do we need for the overall width of our front bumper? Okay, hopefully you're looking at it and you're saying, you know what, right here from side to side, that 3.17 is the overall width of the shape. So that's what we need, okay? So our extrude is going to be 3.17. Okay, no longer are we using fives and zeros and things like that. Dimensions are going to change. We're used to using our puzzle cube where the dimensions were all, you know, 0.75, one and a half, 2.25, and then we switched over to our ISO shapes. Same kind of thing, right? Those numbers were all to the quarter of an inch. We're not going to have that anymore, okay? Random numbers that we're pulling off of these drawings, you're going to have to look closely. 
So when we look at what's going on here with the cube, okay, it's extruding that equal dimension in both directions, okay? So that's pretty good. We're in good shape. All right, so at this point, we're now going to use a tool called the fillet tool, okay? This is not the fillet, okay? A fillet is a steak that you eat. It is not um, a tool inside of Onshape, okay? So to fillet the edges of this thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna round the edges of this thing over because it doesn't come to a straight, nice edge. If I grab the truck, hold this up to the camera, okay? All the edges are, are nice and rounded, all right? The reason for that, you don't want some two or three year old getting a splinter off of the wood that they used, okay? So they, they rounded over all of these corners. So this whole edge all the way down, that all needs to be rounded over. The front edge, okay? All this stuff needs to be rounded over. Well, what is the dimension that we should use? Let's look at our drawing here, okay? If we look, 0.3 is right there, okay? 0.3 is the arc, all right? Anytime that they show you the radius here is 0.3, okay? Same number for all of them, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. To do a fillet, we come across, okay? So we're at sketch, come over a couple. You'll see the one is rounded over. One is a fillet, one is a chamfer. A chamfer cuts it off as a straight edge. Okay, much like a stop sign. Okay, so like think of the stop, think of a stop sign as a square. If you put a chamfer on it on all four corners, you get an octagon. Okay, that's what a chamfer would do. We're going to do the, the fillet, and all you do is you select the edges, and you could see that it's starting to round all of those over. Okay, and then I would turn the cube around, and same type of thing here. I'm going to round all these edges over. Okay. Get that front edge, get that front edge. Make sure you've gotten all the edges so everything is nice and rounded over. Okay, that's important. And then once you have them, you can go ahead and you hit that green check mark. All right. So looking at this shape zoomed in, okay, you do have that real nice curve going around it now. No more straight edges. Everything is real nice and smooth. Okay all rounded over, no splinters for those little kids playing with their trucks, okay? So, what is next? Well, um, let's look at our drawing, see what we see, okay? Well, on the reverse side of this thing, you can see a bunch of hidden lines here, and it looks like there's a cutout in the back, okay? And over here, they're showing us the back, right? Here's the back view. Here's the front view, the hidden lines. Now they're showing us the back view, right? And we've got this shape here. It's got rounded over corners, okay? All those rounded over corners. We gotta get this box in the right spot, okay? This box right here. So from the top down, they are saying that that distance is 0 0.3, 0 0.3, all right? And then the distance, from here to the edge is 0 0.39, 0 0.39, okay? So from here to here, 0 0.39 from the top, 0 0.30, 0 0.30 on the bottom. This is also going to be 0.39, okay? So we got to get that box on the back. Let's talk about it. We'll flip it around. We're going to start a sketch on the back. We draw a rectangle. The size of the rectangle is irrelevant. It's that we dimension to it to get it the right size. So we're going to go from this side over to here. If it'll let me click it. Maybe I gotta zoom in. Wait till it highlights in orange before you click, okay? So that distance there, as we just discussed, is 0.39. And then on this side, we're going to dimension over. There we go. 
that's 0.39. All right, you mentioned from the top down, that was 0.3. Top down, 0.3, we're good to go. These corners need to be rounded over, all right? So when we're looking at this thing, it doesn't come to a straight edge. Everything's rounded over, and the radius on this is 0.2. So we got to make sure we enter 0.2 when we're going to do this, all right? So we come up to the top. We're going to choose that sketch fillet, okay? And we'll select surface one and surface two. Okay, it starts putting it on there and it has the number right here, 0.2. That's the number that we need. We can go ahead and hit enter. It's gonna round that over. Again, use the tool, click both of them, press enter, okay, or hit the green check mark, either or. All right, so we'll select over here, select those two, hit enter. We got one more. Let's look at this thing from the right direction. There we go. Okay. Round those over. Hit enter. We're good to go. All right. Now, looking at this thing, it's got to get extruded in. So I'm going to go ahead and choose extrude. Select the shape. Okay. So I'll select the shape, it's going to go the opposite way. It's going to remove the surface. So we got to make sure we choose remove and how far deep does it go in? So right now it's going in one inch. Okay. That's probably not right. Okay. That's the default. So how far does this thing go in? Well, looking at our drawing, I'll give you a second to, to figure it out. Okay. If we want to know how far is the extrude going in. Okay. What number do we use? Okay, so if we look at where they're showing us how deep it goes in, okay, from here to here, right, the depth of that is 0 0.57. 0 0.57 is the number that we need to use going in. So we would adjust that one inch number there, change that to 0 0.57. Green check, we're good to go. All right, looking good. Now, what else is going on with our front bumper? Let's look at the picture, okay? What do we notice? Well, we notice that there is some headlights. All right, how do we get the headlights on our drawing? Well, we have to draw on a surface that is not flat, okay? Unfortunately, it is not flat. It's an angled type surface. So if you remember when we worked with an angled type surface previously, back when we did the ISO shapes and we did the house, okay, we used something called a work plane. Well, you're going to need a work plane here in order to get to this angled surface. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull a work plane off of the only straight surface that we have, which ends up being in the back. And we're going to pull a work plane out here, the distance of our shape. So that work plane, when we pull it, it's going to come in this direction. But how far does it come? Well, it's got to be even with the front bumper. What is the distance from the front of this to the back? Okay, what is that distance? Well, they're telling us it's 1.6. We need that number, 1.6. All right, so what I'll do is I'll turn this around. I'm going to choose work plane. Okay, so at the top it says plane. I'm going to select plane, select the surface. It starts putting the work plane, but look, it's going in the wrong direction. So we hit the arrow the opposite way. All right, and we need our new work plane, which is currently here in the middle of our shape. We need to be that out here. So that number, if you remember, is 1.6. We hit 1.6 and now our work plane is even with the edge of the front bumper. Okay, so we'll hit the green check. We're good to go. All right, now we're going to draw some headlights. So the headlights get drawn out here on this surface and then we will extrude those into the shape. 
I'll choose sketch. I'll select the surface. We'll look at this thing from, from the front here. All right. And I know that there is a hole here and a hole here. All right. But we got to get the numbers that we need. So when we're looking at this, okay, where do they dimension to them? Well, right over here, they give us the dimensions. They tell us that the hole is a 0.2. Okay, that's the diameter of the circle. All right. But in order to get the diameter of the circle, right, we got to get over to the point where we get to draw them. So what they're saying is, and I'll zoom in here so we can see a little better, all right. We have to come down 0.18 to get to this line. Okay, 0.18, but you got to come over 0.32 from the edge. So down 0.18 over 0.32. Let's use those numbers. Okay, so I'll drop my point on here that I need, and then I'll dimension. All right, and from here to this side, 0.32. All right, and then from the top down, I believe was 0.18. I'm going to double check this number in a second. Okay, so let's take a look. <clears throat> um, we come down 0.18 and we go over 0.32. And those are the numbers I have there. So that first one there, that's in the right spot. That's good. Okay, so then I'm going to come over. And I need to put another point, all right? And we'll go ahead and drop that point over here. And we need to dimension it, okay? So the dimensions that they give us is the distance between the two center points. See how they dimension this, okay? The distance between the two center points, 0.27, okay? So we gotta make sure we have that. So we'll go ahead and dimension from here here 0.27 okay and then the drop from the top down was 0.18 so those two circles I mean those two holes are in the right spot now we got to draw our circles when we go to draw our circles the size of the circle 0.27 0.2 is the diameter of the circle. Okay, so we'll zoom in here. I'll click, I'll pull that out. Okay, it should be 0.2, hit enter. Put the other one on, pull that out. Click, 0.2, hit enter. They're the exact same size. Okay, this looks really good. So at this point, we can take these two circles, okay? And we can go ahead and extrude them. So I'm gonna choose extrude. I'm gonna select both of those circles, okay? It's going back. How far does this go in? Remember, we're removing material. If you look at what it's doing right now, it's adding material. And that's what we told it to do here. We want to remove material. Okay, it's going in the wrong direction. Now it's going in and starting to cut that stuff away. All right. So with that, we need to determine how far does this circle get cut into the shape. Let's look at our drawing. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, based off of the information they give you, if we had the work plane, off the front of our shape and we're going in, take a look at this drawing over here. The depth is one inch. Okay, so we gotta make sure that we have that set to one inch. One inch is the default. So in this scenario, we're okay with that. We hit the green check mark and we're good to go. All right, now, unfortunately, we can see here it didn't get the tops of those circles, it's missing part of it. So what I would do is I would modify that extrude, okay? 
And for this particular one, we'll go ahead and make that 1.1. 1 .1. All right. And it gives us the full circle. So the dimension isn't quite right on the paper. Please make sure you make note of that. You want to change that to 1.1. 1, .1. 1 won't work. Okay. Unfortunately, it won't work. So those are done. What else does this shape have? Okay. Well, I'm looking at it and we have this hole over here on the side. Okay. So let's get that taken care of. So we'll look at our drawing here. All right. Here's that circle. All right. And to get to the center point, we have to come up 0.3 and over 0.5. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're looking at this surface over here. Okay. We're going to start a sketch on this surface. We're going to drop our point roughly where we need it. And we're going to dimension. Okay. So looking back, we have to come over 0.5 and up 0.3. All right, so we'll throw some dimensions on that. We're going over 0.5. And we're going up from the base 0.3. There we go. We're at the right spot. We can now go ahead and draw our circle. Okay. How big is this circle that we're drawing? Well, looking at our dimensions here. They give us two numbers, and this is something new to you. This isn't something we've talked about previously. All right. When you look at this, the diameter of the circle, we know that that's 0 0.29. That's the number we're about to enter. But then you have this down arrow. Okay. This arrow pointing down is 0.35. What that indicates, okay, that's the depth of this hole. It tells you how deep to do the extrude. So it's 0.29 diameter, depth. 0.35 is the extrude going into our shape. So let's go ahead and enter those numbers. Okay, so we're at 0.29. Okay, and then we can look at this thing from the side. We'll do an extrude, let's zoom in. Okay, it's going out in the wrong direction. We wanna remove material, so we wanna choose remove. You can see it's going into the shape. Unfortunately, it went in one inch. We don't want one inch. We want a depth of 0.35. So we're going to go ahead and enter that number, 0.35, hit enter. Okay, there's our circle. We're good to go. All right. And when we rotate this thing, you can see that it goes into the shape. Okay. Looking good. This plane here, we don't necessarily need it. We can turn the eyeball off on that. All right. Um, and then lastly, there is a pinstripe over here. Okay. So looking at our, our shape, we got this real nice pinstripe that runs down the side, kind of tapers off. All right. So we got to look at where we can get information on that one. All right. And they kind of blow things up. Whenever you see this dotted circle, okay. This is a detail view, so it blows this piece up real big so you can put dimensions on it. It'd be very difficult to get in there and dimension this piece because it's so small, it's so, so intricate, okay? So what they do is they blow it up, okay, three to one scale. Now it's three times the size, and it's very easy for them to get those dimensions in there, okay? So on here, it comes down 0.3 from the top. And the size of it is 0 0.06 by 0 0.06. So we're going to go ahead and we got to get that pinstripe on there. It's easiest to work on this thing from the rear. Okay, so we'll zoom in. All right, and we'll start a sketch on the back. We will go ahead and draw our box. Now we just have to dimension it. Okay, so from the top line, down to the top of this. I believe it was 0.3. And then the width of this thing should be 0.06. The height of it is also 0.06. All right. 
zoom in, take a look at our numbers, make sure those are matching. Okay, so it comes down 0.3, it goes over 0.06, and the height of it is 0.06. So we're good to go. That looks nice. Green check mark. We do an extrude. Zoom in, we're going to select. Okay. We're going to select that box as our extrude. Okay, so we'll choose extrude, select the box. Notice it's going in the wrong way. Okay, we want to remove material. So now it's going across. It wants to know how far, what is the dimension? All right, well, unfortunately, they don't give us that dimension of how far this thing comes out. If you look at the drawing on here, it comes over, but it just kind of like tapers off. So wherever this curves at, there's no specific number. We just know that it needs to be extruded all the way across. And right now that's not happening because we have it set to a specific dimension of one. So if we change this from blind to through all, see what it did there? It just kept going. Cuts right through the surface. Okay. So we're good to go. All right. Let's look at it. All right, we're finished. So the only problem we have is now on this side, we didn't do the headlights. We didn't do the pinstripe. We didn't do the hole. Okay. So you have to redraw all of those. No, 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 no. Okay. We are all about working smarter. Okay. Got to work smart. Don't make double the work for yourself. So we need to be able to get all of these things over to that side. Well, this is something we've previously talked about with mirroring, okay? So I'm gonna choose mirror, all right? And that's why I left this work plane on the whole time, okay? That front view. So I'm gonna choose mirror. And now it wants, hey, what do you wanna mirror? So I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna say, you know what? I wanna mirror, oh, it wants to know the mirror plane first. Let's take a look. Let's try it again. Oh, uh, let's see. Entities to mirror. Why is it not picking up on anything? Oh, remove. Entities to mirror. Okay. All right. So a couple things. Let me close it out. We'll do it again so you can watch. All right. So we come up to the top. We're going to choose mirror. All right. So the mirror is in the middle here. It's like those two L's. All right. So we select mirror. First thing we want to do is up top, add or remove. We actually want to intersect. So we're going to take these things and intersect them into the shape that's already been created. So we're gonna go ahead and choose intersect. It wants to know the entities, all right? So I'm gonna select each of these, all right? And then the mirror plane, it wants to know. So I'll select the mirror plane and then it brings those over. So now you can see that those three elements, okay? This hole, the headlights and the pinstripe, all that information changed over. We can go ahead and hit the green check mark and we're good to go. We no longer need um, that mid plane on there anymore. So we can turn that off. And now our project is done. Okay, this particular one is finished. All right. So that's looking real good. It's looking real good. All right. So all we got to do is change the color. So we'll come over, right click. We're going to edit the appearance. We have to make this look similar to wood. So the one I want you to use, um, if you look under the oranges, the top one, okay, the most faded one, it looks like a tan. That's the one we're going to use, okay? So any of the wood-based parts that you have to create, that's the one I want you to use, all right? And that is going to be your front bumper for the automobile blocks, okay? If you have any questions on what we just went over, you let me know. Uh, via Zoom or via email, and I will be glad to help you out. Hopefully, um, 
you picked up a lot of new things in this that we haven't done before. And please remember, do not, do not, do not load this video up, play, pause, and draw. Okay, this is for informational purposes, and then for you to take that information and to try and create it. If you get stuck, you can reference the video, but you are not learning anything if you are loading these videos up and play, pause, and draw along with me. That is not helping you, okay? You will crash and burn, okay? Because I'm telling you now, the next project, it, you're going to have to do things on your own, and it's not going to be... Mr. Shalott giving you real nice videos like he is right now, how to do everything. You're going to have to know how to use these tools. So please try your best. If you get stuck, you either ask me or you reference the video. Do not play pause and draw. You are doing yourself an incredible disservice and basically you're cheating. Okay. So please try your best. If you get stuck, ask me for help. That's what I'm here for. All right. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.